welcome back to Artisan's Table Talk. We are here today with Margaret Kerala, and Margaret is a part of a artist group that meets here on Tuesdays. And so I have gotten to know Margaret since I've been here, and I have to tell you, I find her absolutely fascinating. And I am so pleased that she has decided and agreed to sit down with me today and talk about her art her art processes and her art journey. So I just want to start off by saying thank you so much. You're welcome for joining us. You're welcome. And tell me a little bit about your just your your art journey. How did you get started? What age were you? You know, just give us a little brief overview. Well, when I was a kid, uh, seventh, eighth grade, something like that, my aunt took me to the Detroit Institute of Arts. And when I saw those paintings and sculptures and prints, I decided I wanted to be an artist. And so that was it. So I did what I could to get pencil and paper, although I used uh, paper bags and a pencil to do drawings on, whatever was available. And as I grew older, I started to take classes, evening classes, because I had to work. I couldn't go to school. So, and that's my process. I just kept doing it. Just kept doing it and, and just kept building on the skills that you learned prior. Yes, yes. I mean, I would take a course in woodblock printing. And this is an example of one of them. This is volcano, since all the volcanoes are erupting these days. Oh, yeah. And uh, the, the block was printed over ink. Over ink, yes. That 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 is the one thing what that I have noticed talking to Margaret is she has such a um, a broad uh, range of skills and um, and talents. It's it's really amazing. And I just you know we're, so I'm going to have her talk a little bit about these pieces because one of the things that I that I that I want to know about because I'm really interested in it is line of cut. Okay, this is the, that, that was that, a line of cut. This is a line of cut. And explain what that is. Well, you take a piece of linoleum. Okay. And you put an image on it. You have to make sure that, say, you want the tree facing that way, you have to reverse it on your lino cut because when you print it, it will print that way. And it, so if you're doing lettering, you really have to pay. You really sure, yeah. You really have to pay attention to that. So now, when you say you put a design on it, are, are you carving it or no? You... Not yet. I just put it on pencil. Okay. And then I look at the negative and positive space. Okay. And I, if the, if my drawing is complicated. I uh, like this tree back here. Mm -hmm. That could get a bit complicated. Okay. So I would kind of gently, uh, with a magic marker, block out what I want to be black, what I want to be printed, the positive area. Oh, okay. And I carve out the negative area. You carve out the okay. And All right. when I ink it, the ink is on the highest part of the linoleum cut. Okay. And then I print it, and then the, the, the paint transfers to the paper. To the paper. Interesting. That is, yeah, I could see where you would get some really cool effects with that. Yes. Yeah, yes. you could get some really, really cool effects. And you said this is as well? This is the same thing? Yes. This? This, yes. Now the black one is the lino cut. These colors are the lino cut. I used two colors. Double, uh, double, two prints. Two prints, okay, all right. And print it over. Oh. And then the back is some oh, yeah. to some ink that was on the paper. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. So now this is, now I know I've seen this. This is a line of cut as well? Yes. And this is a selfie <laughs> that everybody is doing these days. <laughs> she was the original selfie. <laughs> And I put a birthday cake on my head because I wanted to. Um, and uh, there it is. There's the selfie. That's great. The, the <laughs> that's, glasses that's great. down my nose. Yeah, I do. I, I did notice the glasses. I like that. 
So then these pictures behind that we have yes. is now, are these all same process or different or what have we got going on here? Well, this is, um, this is a lino cut. Okay. And then I just added a moon onto here. Okay. This is a lino cut of a saint and I just added gold leaf. Okay. This is an etching. And okay. That's a different process. All right. And this is another etching. That's okay. A different process. This is a lino cut. Okay. I took the lino cut. You know, it'd be really bumpy all over. Uh huh. So I put a lot of watercolor on oh. the lino cut. Okay. Then I had wet ink. I put paper on top of it. I ran that through a press, and it picked up the paper, and it also embossed. Oh, interesting. <laughs> embossed the uh, the print, so if you can see it, it's all bumpy. Yes, sure, yeah. Yeah, I know it's hard for you guys to see, but it is. It's very textured. Very the, textured. The, the back of that piece is very textured. And now the etchings, how um, that's a little bit different in yes. the respect that yes. how does that how does that differ than the lino cut? Uh, well, the etchings oh, here. Is this one? This one is. This is an etching. So I had a plate, and you can see it has a very rough background. Mm -hmm. uh, so I did another etching, but I didn't like it, so I wiped it all down. Okay. rubbed it all out, scraped it, rubbed it, polished it, burnished it, and then I did a soft, soft, um, soft ground. Okay. So I had this very dry rose. I had the soft ground. I put the very dry rose onto the soft ground, and it then made marks on the soft ground. Okay. I then put it into acid and oh, wow. it etched out all these tiny little details. Oh my goodness, and then quite this, the process. Yes, it's a process. Yeah. And then this is the way that it came out. Oh, yeah. After my inking. Fascinating, fascinating. Yeah, now you were, last um, Tuesday I think it was, you were um, working with the other artists yes. uh, in the Tuesday group and you guys were doing Press transfer. Press transfer? Yes, press transfer. That's okay. one of the names for it. Okay. It's such a wide spectrum of mono printing these days. Mono printing. Okay. Mono printing. Okay. Uh, so with that technique, you have a plate, and you get a registration going, and then you ink. You put ink on the plate, and then you take your paper and you put the paper on top of the ink, and you draw on the back. Okay. And it picks up the ink. Oh, okay. And so you can get a lot of very interesting effects with color yeah. and with black and white from that. The most famous uh, press transfer, if that's the correct term, mm -hmm. is uh, Paul Clay's The Twittering Machine. Okay. That's where he took a canvas, he put some blue paint on the back of it. And then he laid that over black ink. Okay. And he drew on the back of the uh, canvas. And then the canvas picked up the paint from the plate. And then he pulled it up. And that's how that and was done. And that's how that was done. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, that's, that, that is all these different printing processes. It's just amazing. Um, you know, how much time and intricacy goes into a lot of these. I mean, I had no idea. I know virtually nothing about printing processes. And um, so this is all extremely interesting. Now, so of, of all of them, which do you like the best? Actually, I like them all. Well, no. yeah. Now, <laughs> I can't, I can't pick We one. can't get her to answer. Uh, <laughs> yes, well, I can answer from a practical point of view. Okay. It is difficult for me at my age now to get down to a printing press and mm -hmm. acid, etc. So I mostly am doing lino cuts and painting. And painting, yes. Oh, that's right. We have this piece right here, too. <coughs> now, is this, um, is this a, acrylic? Yes, I it's use acrylic. Acrylic, acrylic. Mm -hmm. okay. And then I like to do nature. Mm -hmm. I like to do landscape. Is okay. My thing. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So you are so you are focused on on what you. I mean, I notice we've got we've got a a, a theme of trees going on um, with a lot of these. We have this is nature inspired. Um, so you do draw a lot of your inspiration from just nature. Nature. Yes, yeah. I do. Yes, yeah, I do. That's nice. That's great. Well, as far as the mono printing goes, um, we are going to try to talk Margaret into having a workshop on that. So check the website because as soon as we can nail her down, we're going to see if we can get a get a workshop on the books. But well, thank you so much for taking the time today. This was so enjoyable, and You're thank you for sharing welcome. all your artwork. Thank you. And we just so enjoy having you with us every Tuesday. And I enjoy it also. <laughs> she puts up with us. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us again for Artisan's Table Talk, and we will see you next time. Bye bye.